What's up? What's good everyone? I just scared my cat. <laughs> In this video, I will be painting myself as Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's. Specifically, I'm doing Chica from the very first FNAF game. I will also be doing myself as Nightmare Chica. <laughs> All the products that I am using will be in the description box below. Step one, I am outlining all of Chica's details. Usually I use a light brown eyeliner when I do my outlining, but since Chica is very dark, I thought any smearing of the paint would actually be a really good thing. So I decided to go with black eyeliner. You can have uneven eyebrows, right? You know Chica's a she, right? Oh yeah. I also outlined the teeth, which I found out was not a very smart thing to do later. If you want to give Chica teeth, I would recommend doing the teeth first and then outlining the rest of, well, everything but the teeth. For the shoulders, I wanted the top piece to be connected to the chest piece of the animatronic, but also slightly disconnected from it as well. To make the bib look like it's actually on Chica, I made sure that the yellow got thinner as it got closer to my neck. Now for the letters, I screwed up in many different areas. First, I totally forgot that when you write things in a mirror, it is backwards, so I didn't realize it until way later. Another thing that I messed up with the letters was that if you look at Chica's bib, it's actually the only clean thing on her and the letters are actually outlined in purple and not black. So I went with black because that's what I did all of the other outlining with, but I should have done it in either purple, brown, or pink, because when I try and go over it with purple later, it does not work, because that black is strong. As for the backwards letters, it's an easy fix in editing, because I can just flip it. Of course, that ruins my hat. Now my hat letters are backwards, but what do you do? So just keep in mind, if you're doing this yourself in a mirror, you have to write the letters backwards to you so that they're forwards for everyone else. Unless you're doing it for a video, then you can just flip the video and post. This outline that I'm doing on the neck here was improv, I guess you could say, because none of the animatronics really have necks, but I do. So I couldn't really figure out a good way to get rid of my neck. So I thought that I would try drawing more of an exoskeleton as my neck to make it kind of look like my head was being lifted out of my body. So the main piece in the middle is supposed to act as like the neck or the vertebrae part and then the wires on the sides are kind of like tendons I guess to, to the animatronic. You can do whatever you want with it. You could even, you know, like paint it all black so that you like don't even see it at all. Really up to you. This was just what I decided to go with. Doing the white first, of course, because it is the lightest color. Trying my best not to get the white smearing because we use the black eyeliner to make the yellow smear and not the white because her bib is super clean. It was then when I realized reaching over to my other shoulder would smear paint all over my arm. But no big deal, cause you want your yellow to get dirty anyway. Then painting the exoskeleton part of my neck gray by mixing my black and white. painting all of the yellow and intentionally making it super, super messy, which was pretty fun. Chica is really great for beginners, I think, because you just being messy is a good thing. Here I wanted to get rid of the harsh line, so I was trying to smear really, really hard to try and get kind of a shadowy effect, not so much a line effect. It's, it's not the right way on camera though. Totally forgotten doing this in a mirror. Whoops. Filling in the letters best I can without making a mess of things. Another chica in the house. I mean, I'm not, I'm not fully Chica yet, but I'm getting there. 
painting in Chica's beak with a mixture of yellow and red. I decided not to get too messy with this area because it looked pretty clean in my reference picture. So later I did go back and try and get rid of the harsh lines with the yellow again to also make my face look dirtier. Time for the red inside the mouth. This is what I was telling you about earlier. That purple is not showing up at all. So I decided just to clean up the lines with the black anyway, so it looked nicer. It's confetti time! Though this is not the let's party bib, Chica does like parties. In all the bibs that I've seen Chica wear, the words are always on top of each other, not next to each other. But I didn't want to go that low on my chest for obvious reasons. So I decided to alter the bib a little bit so that you could see all the words. It's the dadgum funnest part. Fill in the rest black. Oh my goodness. This was so cool. It really brings it all together, gives it its dimension. And oh, it was it was so satisfying. Also needing to be a bit more precise with this part of the tutorial, this is probably the only one that you don't want to get messy, at least for this Chica. Nightmare Chica, oh boy. After painting my eye, I let it dry. Put on some dark black eyeshadow to set it in place so it wouldn't smear. Do the same thing to the other side. Enjoy some tunes. I also decided to go over any shiny area of black with the dark eyeshadow because there should not be shiny parts inside Chica's eye sockets. Now taking a super teeny brush, I am going through and detailing everything and just cleaning up any messy lines of the black. Because like I said, the black should be really clean. Totally painted my hat. This is where I tried shading in the teeth with some dark gray eyeshadow when I realized that eyeshadow does not work on my lips and shaded the rest of the teeth best I could. Highlights! Gotta make those exoskeleton bones? Rods? Whatever they are, you know what I'm talking about. Shiny. Time for the dark shading of this tutorial. giving the beak some depth. Blending in the bib shading a bit more so it looks even more lifted off of Chica's chest. And that is Chica from FNAF 1. Now it's time for Nightmare Chica. Nightmare Chica has a completely different mouth and no eyebrows at all. I decided to keep one eyebrow because I'll be turning it into a hole on her head later. But if you're just doing Nightmare Chica, then just don't do any eyebrows at all. After erasing all of the parts that were necessary, or not necessary I guess, I painted in all the teeth correctly because I learned my lesson from the first part. Having the teeth go all the way around the sides because Nightmare Chica's face kind of like separates to show all of the teeth. Then I shaded the bottom of each tooth green because I imagine animatronics don't brush their teeth. Blood is optional. Painting in the new beak, which is quite a bit smaller than regular Chica. Moving on to the new yellow parts. I'm using the yellow to make the tears in the bib. I had to be pretty careful so that the white didn't mix with the yellow, so I would probably recommend using makeup remover like with the mouth and the eyebrow. And then of course using the yellow to get rid of your eyebrow. Again, favorite part, 
time for the black. Basically, I'm just going in and making everything look totally messed up. Getting it ripped or cracked or ruined, chipped, I don't know, just making it look ruined and old. Getting that teeny brush back to outline all of the teeth black and the inside of the mouth, as well as the gums, which, I mean, the animatronics don't have flesh, so the gums are really just like more of the exoskeleton, I guess? I don't know what it's called, but they're, they're basically the gums. Another great thing about Chica being so messy is that if you mess up a tooth, you can just get rid of it. Just go over the entire tooth with black and it's gone, and it actually looks kind of cool shade it with some dark gray to give the teeth dimension. When I went in with the black, I also went lower on the chest to get rid of the bib, which I imagined would show more of the exoskeleton, so I went ahead and added another rod as if it were the collarbone. To add in the new eyes, I just painted a circle of white on my eyelid let it dry, put on some white eyeshadow, then I use blue eyeshadow for one of the eyes to make it light blue, and then I used red paint for the other eye. You also want to highlight the gums to make it look like the gums are shiny and not real, which will make it look more realistic. Huh? I also wanted to be sure to shade the bib again since the tears would be lifted off of her chest. You know to give it dimension. And that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. If you have any requests for any other face painting things that I should do, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time.